Today, we're diving deep into the exciting world of stock market investing. If you've ever wondered how to analyze and choose the best stocks that can potentially supercharge your portfolio, you're in the right place. In this video, we're going to unravel the secrets of stock market success. Whether you're a seasoned investor looking to refine your strategy or a beginner taking your first steps into the world of stocks, this video is packed with valuable insights that you can apply to make informed investment decisions. The stock market can be both exhilarating and intimidating, but with the right knowledge and approach, you can navigate it like a pro. We'll break down complex concepts into simple, actionable steps, so you can start building a robust portfolio that aligns with your financial goals. So, whether you're looking to retire comfortably, save for your dream home, or simply secure your financial future, understanding how to analyze and choose the best stocks is a skill that can open doors to financial prosperity. But before we dive into the nitty-gritty details, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button and like this video to show your support for valuable financial content. And if you have any burning questions or thoughts along the way, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments section below. Let's embark on this enriching journey together. Let's kick things off by laying a solid foundation. In this section, we'll dive into the fundamentals of the stock market so that everyone, from beginners to seasoned investors, is on the same page. The stock market, often referred to as a marketplace for buying and selling ownership in companies, plays a pivotal role in the global economy. It's where companies raise capital to grow and where investors like you and me have the opportunity to own a piece of those companies. At its core, a stock represents ownership in a company, and owning a share of stock means you own a proportional part of that company. But how does it all work? Well, that's what we're here to unpack. One of the primary concepts in the stock market is a stock exchange, which is like a giant marketplace where stocks are bought and sold. Some of the most well-known stock exchanges include the New York Stock Exchange, NYSE, and the NASDAQ. Stocks come in different shapes and sizes. You have common stocks that come with voting rights in the company's decisions and Preferred stocks that typically don't have voting rights but come with higher dividend payouts. Market capitalization is another term you'll often encounter. It's a fancy way of saying how big or small a company is in terms of its total value in the stock market. This value is calculated by multiplying the company's stock price by the total number of its outstanding shares. Dividends, on the other hand, are periodic payments made by some companies to their shareholders. It's a way for the company to share its profits with its investors. In this section, we're going to explore a crucial first step in your stock market journey, setting your investment goals. Before diving into the intricacies of stock analysis and selection, it's essential to know where you're headed and why you're investing. Investment goals are like your financial roadmap, guiding you toward your desired destination. They help you define what you want to achieve through investing in the stock market. Let's break this down. 1. Financial Objectives Take a moment to reflect on your financial objectives. Are you investing for retirement, to buy a home, fund your child's education, or simply grow your wealth? Your financial objectives will shape your investment strategy. 2. Time Horizon – Consider how long you're willing to invest your money before needing it for your goals. Are you looking at short-term gains or a long-term investment horizon? Keep in mind that the stock market's performance can be cyclical, so time plays a crucial role. 3. Risk Tolerance – Assess your risk tolerance, which is your comfort level with the ups and downs of the stock market. Are you risk-averse and prefer stability? Or are you open to more significant fluctuations in exchange for potential higher returns? 4. Specific targets. Be specific about your investment targets. How much do you need to achieve your goals? Having concrete figures in mind will help you set realistic investment plans. 
5. Diversification. Consider whether you want to diversify your portfolio across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, or real estate. Diversification can help manage risk. Your investment goals will act as your guiding star throughout your journey in the stock market. They will influence your stock selection, portfolio allocation, and investment strategy. Now that we've set our investment goals, it's time to roll up our sleeves and delve into the art of stock analysis. We're kicking things off with fundamental analysis, a crucial tool for evaluating stocks. Fundamental analysis involves assessing a company's financial health and performance to determine if it's a suitable investment. Let's break down the key components. 1. Financial statements. The backbone of fundamental analysis includes a deep dive into a company's financial statements. These documents include the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. They provide insights into a company's revenue, expenses, assets, liabilities, and cash flow. 2. Price-to-earnings, P.E. ratio. The P.E. ratio is a fundamental metric used to evaluate a stock's valuation. It compares the stock's current price to its earnings per share, EPS. A lower P.E. ratio may indicate that a stock is undervalued, but it's essential to consider the industry average and the company's growth prospects. 3. Price-to-sales, P.S. ratio. The P.S. ratio compares a stock's price to its revenue per share. It's particularly useful for evaluating companies with inconsistent or negative earnings. A lower P.S. ratio can suggest a potentially undervalued stock. 4. Debt-to-equity ratio. This ratio measures a company's financial leverage by comparing its debt to shareholders' equity. Lower debt-to-equity ratios are generally preferred as they indicate lower financial risk. 5. Dividend yield. If you're interested in dividend income, the dividend yield is crucial. It represents the annual dividend payment as a percentage of the stock's current price. A higher dividend yield can be attractive for income-focused investors. 6. Earnings per share, EPS EPS represents a company's earnings attributable to each outstanding share of common stock. Growing EPS over time can indicate a healthy company. Fundamental analysis requires a thorough examination of these metrics and more. It's about understanding a company's competitive position, industry trends, management quality, and growth prospects. In this section, we're shifting gears to explore another crucial method of stock analysis known as technical analysis. While fundamental analysis focuses on a company's financials and fundamentals, technical analysis is all about studying historical price and volume data to make investment decisions. Here are the key components of technical analysis. 1. Charts and patterns. Technical analysts rely heavily on price charts which visually represent a stock's historical price movements. They look for specific patterns and trends within these charts. Common patterns include head and shoulders, cup and handle, and double bottom. 2. Moving averages. Moving averages are used to smooth out price data over a specific period, helping analysts identify trends. The simple moving average SMA and the exponential moving average EMA are two popular types. 3. Relative Strength Index RSI The RSI measures the speed and change of price movements. It's used to determine whether a stock is overbought, potentially due for a pullback, or oversold, possibly poised for an uptrend. 4. MACD Moving Average Convergence Divergence The MACD is a momentum indicator that shows the relationship between two moving averages. It can signal potential buy or sell opportunities based on the crossovers of these averages. 5. Support and Resistance Levels Technical analysts identify key support and resistance levels on a stock's price chart. Support is where the price tends to find buying interest, while resistance is where it often encounters selling pressure. 6. Volume analysis. Volume refers to the number of shares traded. Analysts use volume analysis to confirm trends. 
an increase in trading volume can signal strong interest in a stock. Technical analysis isn't about understanding a company's financial health or business model. Instead, it's focused on predicting future price movements based on past data and market psychology. While fundamental analysis helps you decide what to buy, technical analysis can provide insights into when to buy. Many investors use a combination of both approaches to make well-informed decisions. We're shifting our focus to a critical aspect of successful stock market investing, risk management and diversification. Investing in the stock market comes with inherent risks, and understanding how to manage those risks is key to preserving your capital and achieving your financial goals. Here's what we'll cover. 1. Risk Tolerance Begin by assessing your risk tolerance. How comfortable are you with the potential ups and downs of the stock market? Are you willing to take on more risk for potentially higher returns, or do you prefer a more conservative approach? 2. Asset Allocation One of the primary ways to manage risk is through asset allocation. This involves spreading your investments across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, and cash. The right mix depends on your risk tolerance and investment goals. 3. Diversification Diversification is a key strategy for managing risk within the stock market itself. Instead of putting all your money into a single stock, consider spreading it across multiple stocks or even sectors. Diversification can help mitigate the impact of poor performance from one investment. 4. Risk-Return Trade-Off Understand the relationship between risk and return. Generally, higher-risk investments have the potential for higher returns, but they also come with a greater chance of losses. Lower-risk investments tend to provide more stability but may offer lower returns. 5. Stop-Loss Orders Consider using stop-loss orders, which automatically sell a stock if its price falls below a certain level. This can help limit potential losses in volatile markets. 6. Regular monitoring. Stay vigilant and regularly monitor your portfolio. Financial markets are dynamic, and your risk tolerance or financial goals may change over time. Adjust your investments accordingly. In this section, we're going to explore various stock selection strategies that can help you make informed decisions in the stock market. The strategy you choose should align with your investment goals, risk tolerance, and time horizon. Let's dive into some popular strategies. 1. Growth Investing Growth investors seek stocks of companies with strong potential for future growth. They look for companies that are expanding their market share, launching innovative products, and experiencing rapid revenue and earnings growth. 2. Value Investing Value investors focus on stocks they believe are undervalued by the market. They search for companies with strong fundamentals but whose stock prices don't reflect their true worth. This approach often involves analyzing financial ratios and looking for bargains. 3. Dividend Investing Dividend investors prioritize stocks of companies that pay regular dividends. These investors aim for a steady income stream and long-term capital appreciation. They often seek stocks of established, financially stable companies. 4. Income Investing Similar to Dividend Investing, income investors prioritize generating income from their investments. They may invest in dividend stocks, bonds, or other income-producing assets to meet their financial needs. 5. Sector Investing Sector investing involves focusing on specific industry sectors, such as technology, healthcare, or energy. Investors may choose sectors they believe have strong growth potential or defensive characteristics. 6. ESG Investing ESG, Environmental, Social, and Governance Investors consider a company's impact on these three factors when making investment decisions. They seek stocks of companies that align with their ethical and sustainability values. 7. Momentum Investing Momentum investors follow the principle that stocks that have performed well recently will continue to perform well in the near future.
they use technical analysis tools to identify stocks with strong momentum. 8. Contrarian investing. Contrarian investors do the opposite of what the crowd is doing. They seek opportunities in stocks that are out of favor with the market but may have the potential for a turnaround. 9. Quality investing. Quality investors prioritize stocks of companies with strong balance sheets, consistent earnings, and low debt levels. They seek stability and reliability in their investments. Your choice of strategy should be based on your unique financial goals, risk tolerance, and preferences. Some investors also combine multiple strategies to create a diversified portfolio, 